there are quite a few stories about your background. Um, okay. Would you like some of the wilder ones? Gavin said, you gotta go see this girl, Judy Sill. I said, what's she like? And he said, she's, she's like nobody else. She was the first artist signed to Asylum Records, and Geffen had tremendous belief in her. He said, what do you want to do? And I said, I wanted to be the greatest living songwriter in the world. <laughs> I heard the song, and it was very intriguing, because I thought it could be a hit. We liked each other's songs. That, you know, like, I love Jackson's songs that he wrote, and I love J.D.'s songs. But everybody seemed to think that Judy had something special. When I met her, she told me she was a heroin addict, that she'd been a prostitute, and that she'd been in jail. So that's a lot of information. She had pointed the gun at the guy and said, OK, mother sticker, this is a fuck up. I knew that I had to clean up or else go back to jail. So I got a tattoo on my arm to remind me forever. And then I started formulating exactly what my mission would be. This is The Kiss by Judy Sill. I had never heard a song about that. It just felt like a bottomless well. Love rising from the mist Promise me this and only this holy It's like a level of desperation and vulnerability that totally transcends a lot of the real personal songwriting that was going on at the time. There just wasn't and won't be anybody that writes like that. I've never heard anything that's made me go, oh, that sounds like Judy Sill. I want to inspire people and uplift them without them knowing it. That's what I want to do.